So in this video, I wanted to throw these expensive Yeezy replicas on feet and let you guys know my personal thoughts. What is going on guys, Hess here from CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys want to shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description. This video, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys these on feet and let you guys know just my general thoughts on what I think about uh, the replica that I ended up buying. Again, this was the most expensive replica that I paid for. It was $180 shipped. And I was actually really surprised by what you ended up getting with this shoe. The major differences between this and the Authentic is the boost is not real, but it looks pretty close and it feels similar, but not quite boost. Anyway, I'll show you guys these on feet. I will let you guys know that one of them is the authentic, the other one is the replica. You guys will be able to tell the difference in this video because I have leather laces on the authentic pair and the replica pair does not have the leather laces. Let's go ahead and show you guys what these look like on feet. All right, so now that you've seen these on feet, my final thoughts about this shoe on feet. It is pretty interesting because honestly, there's a lot of characteristics that I noticed on the $60 version that were very, very easy tells that they were fake. It was really hard to tell that these were fake on feet. To be 100% honest, I honestly couldn't tell the difference uh, between the replica pair on feet versus the authentic pair on feet. And part of the reason why I say that is because the boost in the Easy Boost 350s is obviously muted quite a bit because it's encased in this midsole. This material is a fake boost. It's definitely not real, but it's a close enough of a compound that it is really, really similar. To be honest, it's frightening to actually say that. The, the fit is also true to size. Like, it fits snug around this section. The other replica one that I had for the $60 version, the material was thinner and it didn't fit as snug. This one fits exactly like the uh, authentic one does. Out of all the replicas I've tried on, this is definitely the one where I was like, I could easily be fooled into this being a replica and not know the difference, especially even if I bought them and wore them, it feels like the real thing, which is honestly why I'm doing part of these videos. And I think it's the scariest part. Like people could be getting a pair like this that somebody paid $180 for, somebody sells it for 500 or 450, let's say, because they're trying to cut somebody a deal. You get these for 450 and then you wear them and you already have another pair of 350 V2s and you wear these and you're like, yeah, they're comfortable. They feel just like the other Yeezy Boosts. And meanwhile, the other guy profited like 250 or so dollars for selling you a fake pair of shoes. Um, I don't know, it doesn't settle well with me at all. And hopefully the brands are doing something to combat this type of product from hitting the markets um, and going more mainstream because it seems like this is easier and easier now for you to get your hands on a pair of replicas and the replicas are in better and better every single year and every si single version of the shoe that they ended up making is better. A lot of people have left comments even since I made this video and said that they do have um, replicas that have one-to-one -one boost. I haven't seen it yet, but I honestly wouldn't doubt it because real boost at the end of the day is just thermoplastic polyurethane, which is just a really cheap material that they manufactured in the right measurements in these little boost pellets to create the responsiveness that boost is. So it's like they obviously mimicked that and made something very similar on the market in this shoe. So just be careful out there. It's really crazy how similar these things feel on feet. 
as well as how they look. And it's a bit scary that there's this close of a comparison in the quality of the shoe. My last disclaimer is again that I bought these with my own money. And if you guys want to fake it till you make it, you can do that. That's on you. But for me personally, I stick to the authentic products. I'm only showing you guys this for educational purposes. And I do have the authentic products and I support the brands that create and manufacture the authentic products. I also only buy from authorized retailers and I don't have a lot of trust on the open sneaker market. There's only a handful of sites out there that I would trust and individuals that I would actually exchange a pair of sneakers with. So keep that in mind for yourselves. If you guys want to make sure you get authentic products, make sure you guys just do your homework and make sure that you buy from a trusted individual or company and uh, just be careful out there. That is all we have. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new, notification bell to be notified when I post. Videos on the screen at this time if you guys wanna see some of the other videos on my channel. And thank you again for watching. Have a good one. We'll catch you guys for some more videos soon. Peace guys.